Hey guys, welcome back. It's been a very long time since I did a gameplay, so let's just jump on right back in. We are in Mount Moon. Uh, I actually was just got on off camera and I walked a little bit up here. Uh, I really don't know why, but I'm just going to throw on a repel if I had one. <laughs> Yo, can't. Well, um, I actually had to battle a Zubat off camera. Um, if you guys uh, probably did not realize this because I haven't played a game for a bit, my manky was damaged. Oh, Geo, dude. You would have been useful. Not in the next gym, but later on in the game. But <laughs> let's just throw out Homie. He's good at Shandy Ping. There's not a lot of stuff to talk about. Mostly because I feel like this volume is way too loud, but it's probably not. Probably just hearing things. And Flarps leveled up. How precious. Oh, actually, I wonder what the boy to girl ratio is on my team. Oh, it's exactly split half and half, three to three. That is really nice. I would prefer to have all boys because, uh, correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section below, but I think that uh, male Pokemon tend to have higher stats, better stats. Um, probably am wrong there, but I don't know. What am I doing there? I think Flarps can take on something. Can't even take on his own. I'm still having to drink a bunch of water lately. It sucks. Uh. And this winter, though, has it. It's silly me. I'm talking about weather. That's how boring of a commentator I am. I honestly wonder if, like, where a lot of these, um, pin items are. I haven't really been watching a lot of KMAC series of his Fire Red playthrough, but I really want to start getting back through that because that will teach me some good strategies. And I'm starting to regret this battle. It's one thing I don't like about the Nuzlocke challenges. You get into them and then you start regretting, uh, every single move you do because you can lose a Pokemon. It, you, one of your Pokemon can faint from a crit hit. Um, see like right there that could have been a crit hit. Um, oh, that should have took him out but it didn't. Thought that would have taken him out. Um, oh, oh crap. I got, I gotta get Piglet out of there. This is getting really close. Um, yeah, Zubat, uh, let's just withdraw you and throw a homie on in there. And before I go back, uh, and, and before I, I'm hopefully getting to the end of this cave, is what I'm basically trying to say here, by the end of this episode. I don't want to spend too much time in this cave. I already spent a whole episode. I think this is episode 6 now. So I spent all of episode 5 in there. Man. I thought I only hit 3 times, but I guess I hit 4. Alrighty, well, let's just put you to sleep and that that'll be nice and dandy. Dandily. Might as well lead seed him too while he's asleep. Oh yeah, and I I, I do a, I feel bad kind of saying this, but I have an excuse for why I haven't been uploading videos lately. 
It's because I've been obsessed with old po the old Pokemon series, and I've been watching it. I think that for the past couple of weeks, I've been doing nothing but playing Pokemon X and Y while watching. Like, I think the first 60... I think I'm on episode 64, 65 of the very first season of Pokemon. Sorry, I had to get a sip of water there. Um, but yeah, like, I'm just watching back through, and there's just something about the nostalgic feeling that, um, just makes me, that just made me want to, like, go back and play this game again, and put up another episode. Also, guys, I'm needing ideas for another top ten video. Uh, uh, you guys know I do those, like, once in a blue moon, really. Uh, I don't do them that often, but I'm thinking of branching off away from Pokemon 2 and just also doing, um, like, Z let's say Zelda, Sonic, even though I don't really know a lot about those games. Um, I think that this rock back here has a item, but I'm not quite too sure. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping to branch off a little bit and, uh, go into more types of games. Oh, another Moonstone. Only if I had a Jigglypuff, I could get Wigglytuff by this. Alright, and I think up here is the way out. Uh, I have to pick between these two fossils, but... Before I actually go into the battle, I almost forgot that I have to heal up Piglet. I think this guy has a Grimer, so I... Uh, I'm starting to regret everything. I'm starting to regret a lot of stuff, guys. Hey, stop. I found these fossils. They're both mine. Oh, fine. Be greedy. Don't share. Yeah, he has Grimer. I'm starting to regret it. I'm regretting everything. This is going to be terrible if, like, I lose my best Pokemon in this battle. Ah. Don't die. Okay, that, that was good. Disables what usually kills me here. Okay, he was slightly heavier. No, hoo hoo. Another sip of water. Crap. I'm just gonna have to karate chop. Get this grimer out of the way, then I'll throw. Um. Uh, dang, man. If I have to, I'll have to throw a potion in on him. Ah, uh, see? <laughs> Dang it, man! I hate that disable move. It's good when it's on my when it's working for me, but when it's against me, I, I can't stand it. Okay, Flarp got a couple of HPs, a EXPs. Sorry. Yeah, I'm going to have to. All right, Piglet was no longer disabled. Uh, no, not bag. I want to go to my Pokemon, and I'm going to throw a homie on out here. Hopefully, since I think Coughing's a poison type, it won't, if he uses a poison type move, it won't really affect him. Oh, this is, this might be a slightly easier battle than what I thought it might be. Because I forgot homie still knows Sleeping Powder. Which is going to be very helpful right now. Yes. Might be even more helpful in the water gym against the Misty. I can put all of her Pokemon to sleep and just take them out one after another. Lead seed them. Ha ha ha. Ha ha. I'm win. Oh yeah. Vine whip him. But yeah, like this winter where I live, it, it, it's really, really bad. I think this is like the second big snow coming through. We're getting like eight inches in one night, and then I think in the next night we're going to get a little bit more. 
might be mistaken about that, but I'm not really that sure. Oh, uh, Lear, I'm... You know... I might actually keep some of these moves right here, like Lear and Tail Whip, because lowering stats now, that, that will be a huge game changer. Oh... I don't think I am. Especially not with Leer. That that stuff is going to be pretty hard to do. Oh, creep. Creep, creep, creep. Uh, I think that really quickly I'm just going to use a potion on Piglet. No, if I have to, I am going to throw out my, um, rat attack, ta 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 ta, -ta. I, I honestly don't care about him that much, him or her, I don't know anymore, but, um, I don't really care about that Pokemon too much, so if worse comes to worse, I'll just throw out my rat ta 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 Alright, so that's neutral damage. Fine, whip him, and then... Alright. Wasn't too much to sweat. He was more kind of the boss of this cave, so that's why I worried. Alright, so he said I can pick whichever fossil I want. Now, what I want to do first, though, is so he's not taking damage as I walk. Give Piglet a nice, good, uh, antidote. Um, should I want the helix, or should I want the dome? I don't really know what I want. Uh, I'm just going to do the, starting with the any mighty mo, left to the right. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Touch a tiger, bite its toe. If he offers, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Alright, so I'm grabbing the dumb fossil. Alright, and you get that helix fossil. That's fine. So, <laughs> in the comments, please tell me whether I made a good or a bad decision. I probably made like a terrible decision. I'm going to regret. Um, Flarps. Uh, let's get you all the way up to level 10, and then that'll be good for you right now. Shift him in. Well, I'm... The biggest thing that I'm worried about is, um, I think there's a rival battle up here. So... That, that's why I'm worried about not up at the end of the cave but in the next town I know there is so what I want to do is I want to uh, level up all my Pokemon to around maybe 19 off camera or something camera off camera like that around that level and then I'm going to take on the rival, whatever I named him. I think I named him Donut, and he was an Arab. Which reminds me, I need to work on that, on my Arab accent. Because last time, my Arab accent was terrible. It sounded more Hindi than anything. Which reminds me, I have to upload this to Tripod Gaming, too. Man. Lots and lots of channels. Silence has fell across the crowd. I don't know why. Alright, we're just going to have to find a clip and find a clip and to victory. <laughs> what? Victory? Ha. Dang. 
Why does a bolt seed like why isn't it that good on him? I really hope that the sound, like the music on this, is not too loud for you guys. Cause like I'm just paranoid now that it's going to be uber loud. And an item, an antidote. Uh, well, I don't need an antidote. And the ladder leads us to a hole in the wall. Uh, I'm just going to go on up here. Or actually, you know what? These guys are not trainers. They will not battle me. What they want is a kick of brittle ferocity, packed with destructive power. When you get right down to it, Mega Kick is the ultimate attack. Do you agree? Okay, I'll teach it to one of your Pokemon. You know what? Mega Kick? That sounds something Piglet would want. Yeah, let's give you Mega Kick, man. Um... Let's get rid of, um, Scratch. Also, since, like, like I'm actually forced to kind of use Pokemon that I would have never really used in this series. And Mega Punch. Why not? Why not learn Mega Punch 2? Um, but this series is also going to make, kind of make me learn to appreciate certain Pokemon more, which is pretty good, because I am not usually the best at appreciating um, certain Pokemon, like for example, Nibbles down there, Ratata, -ta 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 -ta. I, I would never use a Ratata, but since it's what I have available to me right now. I'm forced to use a rat ta 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 Alright, so now that I have those two moves, I think I'm going to run on up here and grab this Pokeball while I'm at it. Ah, uh, only Roar. So, it was a good thing that I got that, um, got all that done because I'm not going to be able to come back up here. So, uh, I think this is a different route, so. Well, we did not catch a Pokemon on. Yeah, this. Here, let me just check. I'm so paranoid that I'm breaking the rules of the Nuzlocke. Let's use this. Yeah, there's not Moon. Yeah, yeah, I came off of a different route. Yeah, that, that was Route 3 that I caught the Pokemon on. I haven't caught any on Route 4. All I did is bought, buy that Magikarp in the Pokemon Center, but I don't really count that as, quote, catching the Pokemon, so. So. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm confused now. Alright guys, uh, let's just see what we can get down here. I have two Pokeballs, so two chances, and I got Sandshrew. That is very nice. I'm getting very lucky on my... on what I'm getting in this Nuzlocke. The question is, is he... he's probably going to faint from my Piglet. I, I don't want faint, but he probably is going to. Oh, this is like, uh, you know what, let's, let's try our luck. We have two Pokeballs. Let's just try one right now and see if it's fine like that. No, no, we, we gotta weaken him up. What I think I'm going to do is I'm no, 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 not another Pokeball, man. Karate chop him. 
Alright, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do a very sophisticated thing. And I'm going to throw a homie out there and scare him into the ball. No, no. What we're going to do is we're going to, I think this gives it a better chance of, uh, of like staying in the Pokeball, so I'm going to put it to sleep. This is very intense for me. You guys are probably like, don't sweat it, there's nothing that wrong if you don't catch a sand true. But like, for me, like this, I, I could be like facing the Elite Four and sand true could be like my last able Pokemon. And he could be like my lifesaver. Burrows deep underground in arid locations, far from water. It only emerges to hunt for prey. Uh, he is the mouse Pokemon. I thought that was Pikachu that was the mouse Pokemon. Oh no, Pikachu's the electric mouse Pokemon. Two foot, 26.5 pounds. Dang, you're fat for your size. Uh, well yeah, you have to give him a nickname. Um, ha, uh, I, I, I was just thinking, what if I named him Shrew You? Aha, yes, yes, I, he will be Shrew You. Uh, nah. I just, like, lost all faith in that name <laughs> all at once. Um, I'll name him A. Since he's arid, I'll name him A. Oh, no. No. I'm failing at naming him A. No. Space. I'm still failing. A. Here, actually. I need to be in others. A. Rod was transferred to the PC. So let's get out of here. Skidaddle. I was so proud of myself. I use the word skidaddle in like modern like in modern everyday English the other day. And my friend and I high five because we used 50s slang. And then we talked in 50s slang for the rest of the day. It's all blur to me though. Uh, guys, well, it was not a very long episode. Like I said, I, all I wanted to get done in this video was get out of Mount Moon. Uh, I wanted to catch that Pokemon in the grass over there so that I have him. And I wanted to learn those two moves. Uh, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be out here training for a bit. Um, probably... We'll see you guys in maybe tomorrow. Uh, more, a lot more snow is heading up through my way, so I might have the next couple of days to record. But who knows what can pop up. So, um, see you guys in the next episode. Uh, like, if you liked it, share on Facebook. Anything, I don't care. See you guys in the next episode. Bye bye.